Hello and welcome to our case study video on London ethnic diversity change since 2001. Um, this is a part of our unit which is UK in the 21st century and we need to take a look at how ethnic diversity has changed in one place in the UK. So as outlined in our exam structure, um, we need to look at a summary of how the population structure and ethnic diversity of a name place in the UK has changed since 2001. So let's get going. So first of all, what does ethnic diversity mean? Well, ethnicity is the fact or state of belonging to a social group that has a common national or cultural tradition. Um, in basic terms, race describes physical traits, whilst ethnicity refers to cultural identification. So race may also be identified as something you inherit, while ethnicity is something you learn. Both of them are social constructs. But the idea is that for population and data and census, um, people are classed into ethnicities um, as they feel that they represent certain cultural identifications. So, first of all, <clears throat> London has a much higher ethnic diversity than the rest of the UK. So in the UK, about 13% of the population were born in another country. In London, this value is about 37%. In 2001, we can see by the ethnic group of white British how much ethnic diversity has changed. In 2001, 60% of London's population were white British, but by 2011, it was 45%. So less than half the people living in London are actually white British. Now, looking at the right hand side, I've included uh, the top 10 countries of birth of London residents. Have a go now and see if you can guess the order of those countries and what they are. This graphic, which uses London as a pie chart, great pre presentation technique, um, demonstrates our diversity and shows how our largest groups, which are white UK, white other, South Asian, and black um, make up a large uh, proportion of our ethnic diversity. The ones we're going to focus on, though, will be white other and how this has changed since 2001. So why then has ethnic diversity changed so much since 2001? Well, the biggest change to the ethnic composition of London is the increase in the white. <clears throat> this is caused by the migration of many young adults from 10 Eastern European countries, such as Poland, which joined the EU in 2004 and whose inhabitants were therefore permitted to live and work in the UK. This is because of what's called the Schengen Agreement that was agreed back in 1985, where the EU member states had freedom of travel and work in their different countries. So this accounts for the large increase in other white population moving to the UK between 2001 and 2011. So what does the future hold for ethnic diversity in London? Well, although we can't predict the future, there's definitely some trends which show that things are changing. So since Brexit in 2016, there has been a reduction in uh, numbers of Polish nationals living in the UK. Um, and it's also persuaded some Poles to return home. So could we see this trend continuing in the future? So this is a good example of an exam question that you might expect for your learning. And it's for a named place in the UK, explain how its ethnic diversity has changed. And really what they're looking for from this is AO1 and AO2, so knowledge and understanding. Um, so what you need to give to them and make sure you have is that data and then be able to develop on it. So I've given you an example here of a, an exemplar PED paragraph. So have a look at this, but then I'd like for you to have another go at another PED paragraph, maybe using that data about how the white British ethnicity has changed in London. Thank you very much for watching and I hope your learning goes well. Bye bye.